children. Red, Red blood, blood stains sit in, in my mother's, mother's womb. I remember the silent sobs, the silent whispers. I wonder why my mother never talks about the harshness of cats. I cry strangled purple blood purple tears blood to the sound of my mother's uncomfortable, uncomfortable labor. labor. I feel her pain. Ma, Ma I feel, I your, feel pain. your pain. Imagine naked, worn out palms, my father slaving night and day and day and night for a pot of ice. I remember the silent sobs, the silent whispers, again and again in my head. I wonder why my father never talks about the insanity of the Khmer Rouge and U.S. imperialism. I feel his pain. Book, I feel your pain. Imagine running the shovels in the threat through jungles of killing fields and minefields. My brothers and sisters' hearts are locked in a country that was once ours. I remember feeling the silent sobs, the silent whispers, over and over again in my head, over and over, over again. And over I wonder again. why my brothers and sisters never talk about drip-tainted tears. I slice my veins in utter frustrations. My family is drowning in choked doom, help blood of our ancestors. I feel their pain. I feel your pain. Imagine my mother covering my one-year-old mouth. My mother Shh. Shh. Bow, don't cry. If you cry, the cry would you kill us? 24 years later, I do not remember ducking, maneuvering, hiding, running through jungle fields and killing fields. I imagine the genocide killing my family's hearts, souls, and spirits. Close your eyes and imagine this. Imagine Iraqi children dying, starving, homeless, and crying by force. Imagine Iraqi's mother's lips, womb, love, kisses shattered by bombs, ammunition, and soldiers. Imagine Iraqi's father screaming at the top of their lungs, trying so hard to save their family's lives. Iraqi's father screaming Imagine at the top of their Iraqi's lungs, Iraqi's drowning so in an ocean hard. full of somber blood, flowing in unrhythmic patterns. Imagine if the U.S. looked like Iraq. Imagine if Iraq looked like the U.S. times 100. I no longer need to imagine I lived it.